lesson 9.2, ordered pairs, and we're going to identify and plot points on a coordinate grid. A coordinate grid is made of two number lines, an x-axis that goes horizontally and a y-axis that goes vertically. And we can locate a point on the grid by using the x and y axes. Each point on the coordinate grid can be described by an ordered pair of numbers, x and y. And the x-coordinate is the first number in the pair and is the horizontal location of the number's distance from zero on the x-axis. And the y-coordinate is the second number in the pair and is the vertical location of the number's distance from zero on the y-axis. In the parentheses, we have an x, then a comma to separate them, and then the letter y. We have the x-coordinate, then the y-coordinate. And we can remember that the x is first and then the y is second because they're in the same order as they are in the alphabet. We would say W, X, Y, Z, and that's the order they're in. The X axis and the Y axis intersect or meet at the point identified by the ordered pair 0, 0, which is called the origin. The origin is at 0 on the X axis and 0 on the Y axis. So if this is going 3, 2, 1, then that would be 0 on x. And if this is going 3, 2, 1, then that would be 0 for y. And a coordinate grid may also be called a coordinate plane. To find a location on a map or on a grid, we need to know coordinates. To meet someone on Main Street, we need to give them a cross street so they know where we are on the street. And 3rd Avenue, which is right here, and Main Street is a specific location. If someone said they were going to meet you on Main Street, you'd say, well, Main Street's pretty long. Where on Main Street? And they'd say, oh, 3rd Avenue. And you'd say, oh, I know where that's at. I can meet you at 3rd Avenue and Main Street. For the ordered pair 4 for X and 2 for Y, it's where 4 on the x-axis meets 2 on the y-axis. That's where they meet at 4, 2. You can remember that this one, the vertical one, is y because we can remember the phrase y goes up to the sky. We can write an ordered pair from a given point. And the ordered pair for the coordinates of Tala's house is 3, 5, 3 for x, 5 for y. And the ordered pair for the coordinates to Emma's house is 5, 3. We look for the number on the x-axis first. Then we look for the number on the y-axis. And the order of the numbers are very important. If this were a map and there's a party at 5 for x and 2 for y, the party would be right here. Here's the x-axis, we go to 5, and then we look at where 2 comes across and meets it. That's the party. If we don't pay attention to the order of the coordinates, we'll have the wrong location. If we choose y and do 5 and then do 2, on this map we'd end up at a garbage dump instead of the party. And from the origin for the party, we could go five units to the right, one, two, three, four, five, then two units up, one, two. We could also go two units up and five units to the right. But to make your life easier, you should always start with the x-coordinate first. Points on a coordinate grid can be labeled with a capital letter, an ordered pair, or both. For point A, it's at 0, 2. Here's 0 for x. If that's 1, then that's 0. And it's at 2 for y, so it's actually on the y-axis. A point can be on an axis. Point B is at 3, 3. 
Point C is at 7, 4. And point D is at 5 for x and 0 for y. We can find the distance between two points when the points are on the same horizontal or vertical line. A line segment connects points A and B. And we can count the units for the distance. From A, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. We could also start from this side and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. There's 5 units between point A and point B. When two points are on the same horizontal or vertical line, we can find the distance between the points with subtraction. Point A is at 4 for x and 5 for y, and point B is at 4 for x and 1 for y. And since they both have 4 for x, we can subtract their y values. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 units distance. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 units distance. We just subtract this 5 minus that 1. And for the horizontal, we've got points C and D. They both have 3 for Y. And since they both have 3 for Y, we can subtract their X values. We have an 8, we have a 5, and 8 minus 5 is 3 units distance. And we can even count them, 1, 2, 3 units distance. We can start counting from either endpoint. We can plot points on a coordinate grid from a given ordered pair. Remember, this is y, because y to the sky. Here's our x-axis. And point A should be at 4 for x and 1 for y. Do you know where that would go? It should go right here, 4 for x and 1 for y. And we can plot the point and label it with a capital A. Point B should be at 5 for x and 4 for y. Do you know where that would go? Here's 5 on x. We need to go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It would be right there. And remember to label each point with a capital letter, an ordered pair, or both. So we could write their ordered pairs here if we wanted to. We could also just leave them as a capital A and a capital B. This entire line represents 1 for x. This entire line represents 2 for x. And this represents 3 for x, and so on. And this entire line represents 1 for y. This one represents 2 for y. Here's 3 for y, and so on. Sometimes we will have very large numbers to plot. And we can use a grid with small units, or label the grid by skip counting with greater numbers. We can put 100, 200, 300, 400. Point A is at 400 for x and 300 for y. And each line on this grid represents 25. So four lines represents another 100. So remember the x is first and the y is second in an ordered pair, and they're in the same order as they are in the alphabet. And remember, the x and y axis intersect at the origin, 0, 0. For our next lesson, 9.3, we're going to graph data on a coordinate grid from an experiment. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you stay safe and have a wonderful day. Bye.